guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, kind of a surprise, uh, we had the Dragon Ball Story, um, you know, event come out uh, based around the first two Broly movies. And sort of a surprise with it is we got Dokkan Awakenings uh, for two free-to-play characters that were in it. One is a Goten, one is a Trunks. Um, now, I actually, I think I kind of like what they did with this Trunks. Like, he's got tools here. I don't know that... This is not going to be like, oh my god, he's a god destroying the game. But, like, this is a free-to-play character that has got some stuff going on for him. Like, I, I kind of like this, right? So, number one, he stacks defense, right? Like, you just give that to characters and it makes them a little bit more valuable, a little bit more useful. It's just that simple, right? Um, now, he has a very long passive. Uh, basically... He does give himself two key at the start of turn. Very helpful. I love when CURs are doing that. Makes things just go much more smoothly uh, when you're doing difficult content. He gets 120% attack and even start of turn. Another 70% attack on super attack. Here's what's... I, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this. He gets a medium chance to dodge as the first or second attacker in a turn. I really would like if that also worked as the third attacker in a turn. Because, I mean, if we're seriously going to run this kid trunks against a really tough, like, red zone boss. So, we will probably, uh, I don't know, maybe against, like, Omega, because Omega has a very tough STR phase. None of, like, the hardest red zone fights end with an STR phase, right? Um, but, like, Broly and Omega, well, this Trunks wouldn't work against Broly, because Broly cancels dodge, but Omega's probably this Kid Trunks' best fight, I, I would assume, right? Because this super attack is a key blast, so it's not going to work against Super 17. Um, but he gets a 30% chance to dodge as a first or second attacker in a turn. He gets another 70% attack and even with a Goku family category ally on the team. That's not really too tough to have happen. Um, I mean, if we look at the teams he's on, uh, it, it's pretty much just like Vegeta family where you're not going to be able to do that. But like, you know, if we're running him on like the youth team, like, you know, Dokkan Fest Path to Power Kid Goku is like, you know... The top five unit in the game, he's Goku family, so that's not really going to be an issue. A lot of these other teams, like Bond, a parent and child, Warriors raised on Earth, right? Gifted War... Like, you go through a lot of these category teams. Actually, Gifted Warriors, there's probably not too many Goku family units on here. Is it just Goten? I think it's probably just Goten that's on Gifted Warriors. Okay. But getting back to it, uh, Trunks does get an additional 20% chance to dodge. And 70% attack and defense if there's a Goten in the same turn. So you really do want to use the two of them together, right? So, all right, let's see what we got here. So he's at 142k. Um, That's it, right? Because I think the 70% attack and defense with Goten in the same turn, is that already active? I believe so. Um, he is going to be stacking defense. And remember, he does have a 50% chance to dodge right here uh, since Goten is in the same turn. His Link set, the Innocence, uh, what is that, Golden Warrior, uh, then I believe that one is Money, 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 Super Saiyan, Budding Warrior, Blazing Battle, and Shattering the Limit. Yeah, that legendary Link, dude, Money, Money, Money. How, how kind of them to give him Money, Money, Money. What an outstanding class of characters that has that. Like, come on, get serious. All right, let's see what uh, Trunks will uh, put up for us. Um, again, you pretty much want to run him with a Goten. Uh, we're running on the Majin Vegeta team. Uh, Trunks is getting the 200% uh, leader skill. He gets up to 3.81. You know, I, I mean, I kind of will take that. Uh, then we get a double super. Okay, so he's stacking his defense twice right there with the 50% chance to dodge. I, I, I feel like he's decent. Um, dodge, I, we have just reached a point in the game where dodge is just so strong. Um, because most characters just cannot survive these hits from these big bosses, right? So I feel like dodge, it, it just becomes incredibly highly valuable. Um, I, I feel like the Trunks could do a little bit, right? Now I'm curious, let's take a look at what his defense is going to jump up to on this next turn. Um, sort of see what that's going to look like. Uh, but you know, as a defensive stacker, he's going to be able to build up a little bit. For just the free-to-play unit grinding from... I mean, it, it's a story event, but it's it's a Dragon Ball story event, so it's up permanently. It literally never goes away. I feel like this guy's pretty decent for a, an event that's literally just always up, right? Like, I, I, I kind of like him. Um, at least, it's not like you go through his kit and it's like, okay, he will never help you in any situation ever, 
anywhere. Right, he's just worthless. That's not uh, what this Trunks is. I, I actually think he could probably put in some work. Um, sort of the 252. So, and I mean, that's with a lot of extra support. Um, Goten is supporting a little bit. Um, and then, of course, Trunks is also as well. Um, the, uh, the hybrid Saiyan support Trunks at the end there. Yeah, I mean, if he's stacking like this with the chance to dodge, decent-ish. I mean, I, I just wish that his dodge, like, if he could have 50% dodge as the third slot, that would be pretty good, right? Stacking defense, being able to get this much dodge. I, I, I would not have a problem with that. Um, okay, I don't really know if there's, like, I don't have to do, like, a long extended video here, though. I mean, we could let Trunks stack up for a super long time, right? Um, you know, have him get many super attacks in, see what his defense gets to. But, I mean, we're essentially seeing what this kid Trunks has to offer. I, I could see this Trunks um, potentially being valuable in some spots, right? Like, I'm looking at this character that this does not look like a zero to me. I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased. See, he's decent. Um, I'm, I'm not going to hate on him. Again, a character that actually has the tools to help in tough content. I like it. All right, guys, I just want to get a couple more rotations here with our boy Trunks. Um, I, I, I am kind of curious. So, remember, he does get the little bit of the extra buff with Goten on the rotation. Maybe let's see what he looks like when we don't have a Goten on rotation to give him that buff, right? Uh, again, th this is a similar situation that we saw previously. Um, so, I'm thinking that, I mean, if we look at the, the categories as Trunks is on, again, as a defensive stacker, I can see value for this guy in the future. Um, one way that Dokkan is sort of like addressing content, there's two things that have popped up that I think we're going to see probably a lot more uh, often coming up in the future, right? Number one is uh, legendary events, right? So there's legendary Goku event, legendary Vegeta event, GT legendary Goku event. Um, one of the ways I think Dokkan, you know, when what, for whatever reason, right, they have to put, like, extra resources, extra dev time into maybe, like, major celebrations, and they have to cut corners sometimes for certain celebrations. We saw this with, like, the Dokkan Fest Bardock celebration, and we've certainly seen this in the past, right, on both Global and JP Dokkan. Uh, Cord, hello. Yeah, there we go. Um, now, I think one easy way that they'll, you know, again, sort of cut these corners is... Like, legendary events, they can make missions for the legendary events, right? Uh, which they did for the Dokkan Fest Bardock uh, celebration, where, you know, just beat all three of those events for the low-class warrior team, uh, you know, got you tickets and stones. Um, and then there's also burst mode. Now, judging by the way the first burst, mo burst mode was, um, defensive stacking characters, dodge characters, stun characters, stuff like that, potentially could be useful depending upon maybe a specific type of event or what categories you might need you never know um so again this trunks at least having uh some you know abilities that are a little bit better than nothing i think could make him pretty solid in the future uh not the greatest rotation with him what is our defense at 162 seems like his defensive stacks might actually be pretty decent um, if we have higher defense on this turn without the Goten around, right? Uh, but remember, there's a 70% attack and defense and 20% chance to dodge that he misses out on by not having Goten around. All right, there's one more rotation I want to get. Um, just I want to get Trunks paired up with that tech Goten um, and then maybe like one other support, maybe like the STR Trunks or something like that and just sort of see what this kid Trunks looks like on that rotation. But again, I, I don't hate this character. Uh, if they're going to release free-to-play characters that could do stuff like this, would be good. If there's one change I'd make to this Trunks, allow him to dodge in slot 3, and then maybe he could give a little bit of a support. Just like 2 key, 20% attack and defense to all allies, I think would be really nice. And that could make this Trunks very, very handy, right? But I mean, this is just a very easy-to-acquire free-to-play unit, so I don't know. Maybe that's not the most realistic thing ever, but just a little bit more. I, I, I like what they've got, though. I'm, again, I'm not really too mad at this character. All right, guys. So this is a rotation that I was looking to get right here. So we'll be able to have several links activated. Um, we won't have Money, 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 Blazing Battle, or Shattering the Limit. Um, this is more so, right? Like, remember, Trunks is going to be stacking his defense every single turn, right? This turn, more so about what Trunks can do offensively. Because um, we have a lot of support up. We do have a Goten on rotation, right? 
Um, so let's see what uh, attacks that Trunks will get uh, with all this support. Again, remember, he's defensive stacking, so we could go into some fight, get up to like turn 15, and Trunks could probably be rocking, you know, six, seven, eight hundred k defense, something like that. Um, you know, one of the benefits of having defensive stacking, which can be very useful. 4.29 right there. Okay. Um, and Trunks' super attack effect is he stacks defense, he's getting, and he's also getting 30% attack for one turn. Um, my Trunks actually gave him a nice mix of additionals and dodges. I think further enhancing his dodge could be good. Um, and then also giving him a, a fair amount of chance to double super to double stack defense is good as well. Um, Trunks is not bad. All right, this is Little Saiyan's Rampage, Super Saiyan Trunks Kid. His leader skill is STR type enemies attack and defense minus 40%. Uh, his super attack is the Finish Buster, which stacks defense, raises attack by 30% for one turn, and then does supreme damage to the enemy. His passive skill, Practicing Their Learned Abilities, gives him two key and 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets another 70% attack when he's doing a super attack. Then he gets a 30% chance, a medium chance of dodging as the first or second attacker in a turn. Uh, then he gets another 70% attack and defense if there is a Goku family category ally on the team. Uh, and then he gets another 70% attack and defense and a 20% chance to dodge if there's a Goten in the same turn. So you do want to be using him with a Goten um, I feel like we could get some powerful, like, Gotenks or Trunks and Goten fusing into Gotenks card at some point. So, some unit like this, like this Trunks right here, may be potentially useful in the future. I love that this Trunks is fairly decent, and he's not easy aid. This is not an immediate easy aid character, thank God. That's good, right? This means that this Trunks uh, will get buffed in the future. Uh, Trunks' Link Set is the Innocence, Super Saiyan, Money, 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 Budding Warrior, Blazing Battle, Golden Warrior, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, his 12 kill multiplier is 140%. Um, and then finally, Trunks is on a fair amount of teams right here, right? He, of course, is on the Hybrid Saiyan team, which um, really hasn't gotten buffed that much this year. Dokkan Fest Pan is certainly strong, right? But, I mean, we Big Daddy is coming soon. Beast Gohan, hopefully. That will be big for hybrids. Uh, Trunks, of course, is on the Majin Buu Saga team. He shouldn't be on here, but this is just a relic of the fact that uh, his original SR, which is... Where? His SR came out this slate in it? Where is his SR? I definitely have it. Oh, maybe because I don't have him... Whatever. Anyway, the, the, the Trunks... The, the Trunks' original card that he awakened from is on Boo That's why the Goten is not on Boo Saga, but this Trunks is, right? Uh, Trunks, of course, is also on Dragon Ball Seekers. Um, this is good. More options for that team is always a good thing. Uh, Trunks is also on the Movie Hero category team. I mean, pfft, come on. <laughs> you know, yeah, that, that team gets buffs every second. Uh, Trunks is also over here on the Vegeta family team. Um, always good to get uh, additional options added to this team for sure. Uh, Trunks is also over here on the youth category team. Any help for this team is always good. And I think this Trunks is a defensive sacker with dodge. He definitely is an addition to this team. That's good. Uh, Trunks is also on the Super Saiyan category team. Sure. Uh, Trunks is also then also on the Gifted Warrior category team. Uh, then Trunks is on the Bond of Friendship category team. So he's on Pan, Dokkan Fest Pan's team. Uh, then Trunks is also on the Bond of Parent and Child uh, and then finally, he is on the Warriors Raised on Earth category. So there is this new free-to-play awakening for this Super Saiyan Trunks. Uh, again, I actually think he's pretty decent. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this Super Saiyan Trunks, this free-to-play character. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.